Hi, I'm Fatima Bay, the Mind Shifter. And in today's video is a part two of a three part series on three reasons you're surrounded by people yet feel alone. The main reason for this is mistrust. You don't trust people, you don't trust people enough to let them in. In part one video, we discussed that you were dishonest, so you think everyone else is dishonest. You can't be trusted, so you think no, no one else can be trusted either. That's what we talked about in part one. Part two, we're going to talk about uh, the, re the main reason, and I think the most obvious reason uh, for most, is that you've been hurt, you've been hurt or had bad experiences. This is obvious. There are many reasons why this happens. And perhaps people have done you wrong. As a human being, if you're human, it's happened to you. You've had some sort of hurtful or bad experience that's made you uh, mistrusting of people and therefore leery of allowing them to come in. The reason you feel alone is because you don't let people in. It's not that there aren't people around you, but you don't trust anyone around you enough to let them in at least into the, you know, at least in a little bit. But that reason is obvious. What I want to talk about is the danger uh, of living that way and what you can do to try to remedy that situation. We all know that's a problem. So what are the solutions? I can't go over every single one in this video because it would be too long. But I'm just going to go over some of the general ones that I think are the biggest ones. Uh, the dangers of emotional isolation are, are pretty big. Uh, we can go into some really deep, bad places when we are emotionally isolated. And the reason for this is because as a human being, you weren't created to be that way. As humans, we were created to be needed by and to need one another. We were created that way. Anytime you go outside of creation, there's an imbalance that causes problems. Period. Not just in the subject. But we need other people because there's a lot of hurt and pain that comes from that self-isolation. We need to be able to vent. We need to be able to bounce things off of one another to gain some balance. We need that. And if you don't let anyone in, that won't happen. And it's real easy to go into some pretty dark places when we're just left to our to the island by ourselves, which we had to take a boat to because we weren't born there. <laughs> we're not meant to be there. We're meant to be on land with other people. So, one of the things that we don't really pay attention to is who we can trust. Okay, let me put it to you this way. One of the things that we don't pay attention to is character. I'm going to give you a few little detailed tips on who you can and can't trust. If you want to look around you, because trust me, there are people around that you can trust. Yeah, there's a whole lot of dishonest jerks in the world. But there's also just as many good people that can be trusted. The problem is we don't always recognize them. We assume the negative instead of really examining the character of the people around us and beginning to sift and decipher and discern the differences between them all. And I'm not talking about whether they're skinny, fat, black, white, rich, poor, blah, 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 blah. None of those are the details that actually matter. Now, let's look at the people around you. If you feel like you can't trust anybody around you, is it because there's nobody trustworthy around you or because you don't recognize the difference between the trustworthy ones and the ones who can't be trusted? Let me give you some advice. If you have somebody who is a gossip, <laughs> they can't be trusted. Don't trust them with a damn thing. Uh, gossips are one of the worst people in the world. You can't trust them. And I know that might piss some people off, especially if you're a gossip. I don't care. It's true. The truth is the truth. Do not trust people, somebody who's always talking about somebody else because they're going to talk about you too. If you have someone who's always telling you someone else's business 
and they don't necessarily have to do it in a gossipy way. If you have someone who's always telling you someone else's business, do not trust them with yours because they're going to tell you business too. You've seen them stab other people in the back. Yep, they're going to stab you in the back too because that's their character. That's who they are. That's how they are. That's how they think. Therefore, that's how they'll behave regardless of who they're talking to or dealing with. Look at the core of a person and their character. And again, I could write an entire book on character, but I'm only talking about a couple. Now, who can you trust? You see, the, thing, the problem is a lot of times we have people around us that we don't realize we can trust. And those people that we can trust to let in, you may never notice their behaviors because they're not bad ones, so they don't stand out. Have you ever noticed there's certain people that you never hear them talk about anybody else? You might be able to trust them. They never bring you, tell you anybody else's business. In fact, if you ask them someone else's business, they won't give you a detailed answer. You might be able to trust them. People who have ill intentions, of course, obviously you can't trust them, but you'll notice people who only go out of their way for someone when there's something in it for them, I wouldn't trust them. But if you have people around you who are always giving to others without any expectation back and they're sincere about it, they might be trustworthy. They might not be perfect, but they might be trustworthy in you letting them in so that you're not on the island by yourself. I'm gonna go back to that, it's so important. It's so crucial that you allow somebody, at least one person in, and I mean emotionally, so that you are not on an island by yourself. Just this hurt and pain just getting deeper and deeper and worse because you won't allow anybody in and therefore you're left feeling alone. That can lead to depression, it can lead to many, many other things. But you wanna start there. Look around you, examine the character of the people around you and see what you can do to let someone in. I, my hopes are that I've really planted some thought seeds for you today and that they will grow and turn into some beautiful plants. I'm Fatima Bay, the Mind Shifter.